Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show. Uh, last week, we did a showing of the two arcade systems that I have, which is Pac-Man and Mortal Kombat. Tonight, I will be showing you guys the gameplays of Mortal Kombat and Pac-Man. First, we're going to be doing the gameplays of Pac-Man, then we'll do a gameplay of Mortal Kombat. As you see, I got Donkey Kong playing in the background, one of the classic games that I remember when I used to play in arcade machines. And I can't wait till Arcade one up uh, do an arcade cabinet for that. Now, now I know I said I would not buy another arcade cabinet because it's too expensive. But if they was to drop the price down and make it affordable to where they pull out Donkey Kong and make it to where it's easy to buy, I would definitely get it. But knowing Arcade one up is probably going to be expensive. So. It would be sad to see me not to have that one because I always loved Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong was one of my 10th favorite game of all time. So um, so without any further ado, let's start the show. Everybody grab your popcorn, sit back in your comfy chair, and let's watch some gameplays on these arcade machines. Check you later. And here we are folks in my arcade room uh, as you can see all my machines is up and running uh, Marvel Super Hero Street Fighter uh, Centipede MK2 Pac-Man NBA Jams Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Rampage but today we are going to do a gameplay of Pac-Man now Pac-Man I remember playing this in the mid 80s uh, early 90s um, I used to love playing uh, this this game after school I would never go home on time I used to go home around 7 38 o'clock my mom used to get worried sick because I never came straight home from school and she knew that I would be at the arcade so you used, used to come and drag me out by my ears and embarrass me and I wasn't the only ones quite a quite a few of my friends parents came down dad's mom's Slapping their kids upside the head because they were supposed to come straight home from school But they didn't because they were too busy in the arcade playing Pac-Man I remember I used to get ten dollars in rows of quarters and used to come to the arcade and play Pac-Man um, Now I'm originally from New York City, Bronx, New York um, I lived in the Soundview Projects and when I was a kid we played this machine and then we made a tournament out of Pac-Man to see who was the best kid in the neighborhood in playing Pac-Man. And I reigned second place in being the Pac-Man champion. Um, there was one other kid in my neighborhood who was really, really good. He was the best in Pac-Man. Uh, but I could never beat him. So uh, second place I took. That was fine. Um, but that's where my c c competitive nature started. Um... After that, I went to Miss Pac-Man, and then uh, I played in a couple of tournaments on that one. Came in tenth uh, place in Miss Pac-Man, and then I was introduced to Street Fighter, and then I started really getting into competition with Street Fighter. And then we had uh, neighborhood um, tournaments, and then we had world tournaments where kids came from all over, from different cities across the state, and even from out of state. Um, to play in the tournament and I reigned two years champion in Street Fighter and Street Fighter Turbo um, till my third reigning year I got taken out of the competition by a kid from Hawaii and I was like man this kid was really really good um, he was good with his combos and his uh, blocking moves and it just took me out and I was I was shocked I was like and so did my so 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 was many of my other friends who cheered for me was like <gasps> like you know because I was representing New York and uh, I got taken out you know in the uh, final rounds and I was like holy crap this kid was really really good and he took me out and uh, that was the end of my reign as champion for Street Fighter. But then that didn't stop me because then I came back and I started playing King of Fighters and then I started playing uh, more of Mortal Kombat and then 
gradually I start playing more and more and more other fighting games. Um, right now I've been heavy playing on a Dragon Ball Fighter game, and I've been playing good on that one, which I a lot I got a lot of characters, including Brawly. Brawly's my favorite character, so <laughs> I I get when it, whenever somebody play against me. I'm always making it hard for them to beat me with Brawly because Brawly can, like, one hit can take half your energy down. So I'm always good with Brawly. But um, when I did play Street Fighter, my my characters was Ken, Ryu, and Blanca. And in Mortal Kombat, my characters was Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, Scorpion. And so those are the three characters I always use and was master in those characters to... Help me win tournaments and beat other competitors in the in the tournament realm. But uh, back to Pac Man. Uh, Pac Man was the heart. I mean, it got me started in the arcades. Um, just playing it because I just like the fact that it was a yellow, uh, funny looking creature walking around eating dots, and ghosts are chasing him. And then when you hit the big pellets, they turn blue, and then you can eat them. And then you had these little, um, well, every two levels or three levels, you had this music uh, cue that goes on and it gives you this this little uh, break and you see this little video thing go across where Pac-Man is being chased and then he chased the ghost back. And Miss pa I think Miss Pac-Man had the most funniest one because she was much more of uh, uh, fun than Pac-Man was. When she came out because she brought something new. She brought something uh, different to the pack world. And um, so a lot of people. And I mean a lot of females play Pac-Man. Because I know a lot of ladies love Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man. Um, but if it, it, in tournaments for Miss Pac-Man. There was a lot of females that played um, Miss Pac-Man in tournaments. And it was pretty good. It was really, really good. So without me rambling on about the histories of these games. Uh, let's, let's get it started by, uh, playing a couple of games and, you know, like I said, I haven't played this game in 40 years, so let's see, um, let's see how good I am after 40 years. So sorry for the cam camera angle, this is about the best shot I'm gonna get it without, uh, without hitting anything. So, without further ado, let's, uh, let's enjoy the Pac-Man show. <coughs> can. Ha <laughs> 
up on that one. not bad almost got high score on that one um, let's try it one more time see how far I get this time
Ah, hesitated. I hesitated a bit. So that was good. Uh, like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game, so um, I have fun. Um, I'm going to get that high score though one of these days. So, <laughs> so let's now let's move over to Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, I also know this from the late '80s, early '90s. Um, I remember when this was in the arcade. We used to go and play this one. We did a couple of tournaments locally. Uh, never did a world tournaments on this one. Uh, I had the opportunity to play world tournament because I was good at it. Um, and I used to memorize the finishing moves in my head um, for each of my characters. So playing them again on this arcade machine has been a long, long time. Um, now, if you're talking about playing it on a PS3, PS4, Xbox, stuff like that, I know them just off the top of my head. I just know them. But to play them... To unleash the finishing move on the arcade uh, machine. It's been a long time since I've done it. Um, I played Mortal Kombat quite a few times. But I was more of a Street Fighter fan. Um, because I knew all my characters. And I knew exactly how to do the finishing moves on those. Especially with the Ken, Ken with the uh, all you get fire hand. Uh, I love that move. And um, I use it on every Street Fighter game that I ever played. Those are my two characters I love to play the most. Uh, was Ken and Ryu. Um, but in Mortal Kombat. Like I said. Was uh, Sub-Zero. Scorpion. And um, and Sonya. And I played Sonya and Johnny Cage. And Liu Kang. But Liu Kang, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Was my main characters actually. Uh, not Sonya. Um, so without any hiccups let's uh see how much of a gameplay i remember how to do this like i said it's been a long time since i played these classic um arcade games so let me see if i can set the camera up here so you guys can see let me pull up my chair ah, and uh let's get it started I'm gonna start with Scorpion. Like I said, he's a, he's one of my favorite characters. So I haven't really played with him in a while. Now let me show you guys about cheesing. We used to play, we used to play all the time, we used to cheese like crazy. And this is what I mean by cheesing. Ah, he didn't fall for it. He fell for it that time. There you go. There you go. Oh, you missed me. Oh, he didn't fall for that one. Oh. Got him. Well, now you get the idea of cheesing. You keep doing the same move over and over and over. And uh, it doesn't give your opponent... Ah, yeah, I forgot the finishing moves on these things. Sonya. I still remember the the old trick of going from one screen to the next. Still got that. 
Sub Zero is one of my favorite characters too. I'm playing against the one, the one guy. Dang. Wow, you froze me again. Nice. Nice. Let's try with uh, Sub Zero and see how I how, see how I do fail with Sub Zero. Ah, I fight against my one of my favorite characters. Ah, got him. 
see that I, I've gotten far on these games than I expected um, it's always great to play these classic games um, I say give me like a month and I'll be rocking these games like I was back when I was younger um, so yeah it was great Mortal Kombat uh, so it was always a challenge so I just got to learn how to do the finishing moves on these controls here. Um, because like I said, it's been a long time since I had these controls. Um, I'm always used to playing on a, an actual Xbox or PS4 controller. So um, it's much easier to do because once you've been playing it for so many years, you know and memorize it. And then going back to the arcade um, controls, it, uh, it kind of throw you off because you got to remember which button is which and how to do the finishing moves. So... So yeah, there you go the gameplay right there. So uh, that was great, it was wonderful. And there you go folks, a couple of gameplays for Pac-Man and a couple of gameplays from Mortal Kombat. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played those games. So uh, it's gonna take me a while to get used to those controls again. I'm so used to playing, you know, with the PS4, which is right here, and my Xbox. Because I play Street Fighter V on this one and Mortal Kombat 10 and 11 is on my Xbox. So it's I, I play them fairly good on those because I'm so used of how the mechanics and the controls are on these things. Um, but going back, going from this back to the arcade machines is something totally different. And I haven't done those, and like I say, in a very, very long time, so like 40 years. But uh, But it's fun. Uh, I introduce these games to my kids, and my kids get to see the era of how I grew up. And it's fun. We have family nights um, every other weekend, and we all play together and uh, have fun on the arcade machines, as well as playing the VR and also the PS4 and the Xbox. So uh, tomorrow, I show you a couple of gameplays of the Donkey Kong, and I have uh, Mario Brothers, which is a classic and Super Mario Brothers, which is definitely a classic from the end for the Nintendo, uh, very first Nintendo system. So I show you a couple gameplays tomorrow on that one. So if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, uh, also, if you want to see other contents that I throw out, just hit that notify bell and it'll notify you whenever I put out a video. And once again, I want to thank you guys for watching this channel again. Um, we're having fun playing video games. That's what it's all about. Um, for those who have any questions or any information they want to ask me, feel free to put it down in the description below. And I will answer you guys as well. Um, also, I'm on Xbox PS4. From the previous video, I, I posted up... Uh, my screen names for those. So if you guys want to play me on some games on there, we can get down and get dirty. <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you. Thanks a lot for joining. Thank you for uh, viewing this channel. I want to thank all the people who subscribed already to my channel. Thank you for being there and thank you for subscribing. I haven't forgot you guys. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until then, stay safe and keep gaming.